everyone. I'm feeling happy today because you know the way my last video wasn't feeling very happy. So today I am feeling happy. I have happy news and I have sad news. But I'll get the sad news when we're done with. Next week I won't be able to record a video because I have to go into hospital and get in surgery. So it's nothing major but I won't be able to record a video. So I'm probably be in a lot of pain. I don't know how it'll go. So, yep, that's that over and done with. The rest of my video is all happy. So, check my list. Um. Okay, the most exciting news of my video is my nephew is born. He was born a couple of days ago, and he is adorable. So he is. No names yet, so yep. I'm happy. Um, my next happy news is Tammy in Ohio on YouTube. She's called Gabe Rowan 2011. She is kindly sending me yarn over. Obviously, I have to pay her, but she sent me yarn over from Michaels, and I'm like, Ooh, excited. So I am. So, I'm going to get her something nice. I emailed Joanne's and they said they don't accept my card. So, I can't get her a gift card. So, if you're watching Tammy, I will think of something nice. Um, my next thing is... My friend Rachel on YouTube. She's using her boyfriend's account. She doesn't have one. Um, she sent me... A lovely package in the post. So you know I have to take it out of the packaging. Um, I was totally not expecting this. It was a complete surprise. And I am so grateful. So thank you again Rachel if you're watching. She sent me two skeins of yarn. So, you can see the colours. You can't really see that one with the colour because of my curtains. So, I'll try and... I can't pardon the curtain. The, um... Oh, my sense. Let's see if you can see it better. Look how pretty they are. So, I'll show you the details. Um... There, I think that's the brand. And I think that's the details there. So mm. yep. and it actually tells you whenever it was made. It says here this one was made on March thirtieth. 2009 and it's from a website called Colinet. I'll put the link down in the description box below and it says here Colinet yarns are all hand dyed and therefore colours may vary from hank to hank. To achieve an even colour effect it is essential to work with more than one hank at a time. Try working two to four rows from each hank Carrying the yarns up the side. It's 49% cotton and 51% viscous. Viscous. And it's so pretty. So I'm thinking, I don't know if I'll make a hat. I'm not sure yet because I haven't used hanks of yarn before. Right. The next one I'll show you too. This one's called Hullabaloo. And here is the details. I don't know if you can make them out. Because of the black and white background. But this one was made on the 19th of September 2013. And here is the details. And there's the colours of it. This is... I don't want to rip the label. 
66% pure wool and 33% Welsh black wool, so that's wool from Wales here in the UK. So I am so grateful, Rachel. So I think I'll make that into a hat and I might give it to my mum. Because I think my mum likes it. Um, what else came? Oh yes. Woo! The uncle, I don't want to show my address. So, put my finger over it. My package from Erin came. Yes, I have opened it. <laughs> so yeah, my package came. So excited. So I'll show you all what I got. I got this one made for my best friend Karen for Christmas. Because she loves purple and she loves elephants. So, isn't that adorable? It's so lovely and it's so soft. I love it. So, yeah. Isn't it so pretty? Thank you so much, Erin. Karen is going to love it. So. I love it. And it's so lovely. Like, look at the detail. Isn't that lovely? Love it. Woo. And I got myself something. If I can work out which... Aye, this is it. Right, I need to take my headband off. For this. So that I can remember. Yep, because I guess... So I got myself an ear warmer and I think I put it on wrong again. I think it goes on like that. Obviously my hair is all over the place but yes, my favourite colour and that is so pretty look. Look at the detail. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Thanks, Erin. I love it. Can't wait to start wearing this. But yeah, I'm definitely going to order more colours. And that very soon. So, um, put this bag on. And the last thing I got was that I'll. Can't wait to show you. This. A project bag! So yeah. Mm. I officially have a project bag from Erin. And look. Isn't this so pretty? Oh. And it laces up like this. Or not lace up. Closes up. Oh, yeah. So excited. So Erin, thank you again. I love it. It's so beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And yep, that's it. No card, but yep. I love it. Oh, I'll put them back in the packet. So yeah. Can't wait to get wearing these. And I can't wait to see Karen's face at Christmas. It's gonna be so pretty. You can tell I'm so happy today. It's nice and sunny outside too. Um, right. The next thing is my finished projects. I have finished. Right, before I show you this, there's a lady in Australia called Jan. And I talked to her on Facebook and sadly her home was flooded a couple of years ago and she lost a lot of things including her Christmas decorations and she's seen my uh, Christmas in July project and she says she loved it and she would love one so, yeah she says she loved it and I says I'll make you one and then she told me about how she lost everything so I says to her for Christmas, 
I'm going to make her like a wee hamper, like a gift basket of homemade Christmas decorations and she is so happy and it's made her so cheerful and I can't wait to send her it. It is a bit expensive to post it over but I'm going to save some money aside. So the first thing that I made for her is a wee Christmas Robin bauble, I think you'll call it. We can't really see it again with the light, but I think you can make the colours out. It's a wee robin, and let I even sewed a wee tongue in, and his wee nose. I didn't make the wings in the chest. My I got help for that because I can't crochet at the minute. So yeah, he's a wee robin. I used the clover pom pom maker. Well, I had to borrow it. It's not mine, but I borrowed it. So yeah, he's a wee robin. I was going to put a wee Santa hat on him yes, this morning, but I think, yeah, it'd be too much, so it might ruin him. So, what else have I finished? I finished my Christmas in July project, I think I just said that. Oops, that's fallen off. Now, I don't have any fabric glue, so I used PVA glue. But... Oops, it's fallen off. One second. For those who have me on Facebook, you'll know what this is because I've put a picture on. Ta da! My mother's snow is finished. So, restocking. Christmas lights. Candy cane. Hat. Now this is my own pattern. I completely made it up myself. I haven't written it up yet but like I said in my previous videos I will get it done and I will put it on my Ravelry page. It's completely mine except the nose. I had to look up online but I will put a link in the pattern and if I remember I'll put it in the description box for anybody who would like to see how to do the nose. The pattern where I got the nose shows you how to make a complete snowman but not this one. But I only used the nose part out of it because I didn't know how to. But reading that pattern on how to make the nose I think I could have basically done it myself. So I love it. So yeah mother snow. So set her down. I need to post the pictures on the Christmas in July post on Ravelry. I'll show you Jan's one that I finished. Hopefully it won't fall over. Now for Jan's one I didn't do the Christmas lights. I just put pom poms in the Christmas decoration box to represent baubles. But if I remember I'll probably make her some for it. <sighs> But this is Jan's one. And there's the stocking. Now obviously the fur around the hat I'm going to have to take off and redo. Because it is a total mess. But apart from that I think it turned out really nice. So it did. Oh, almost forgot. The Santa hat isn't mine either. Just forgot. I found that one online too. But apart from the nose and hat, it's all mine. So it is. Including the stocking. And the candy cane. So. Yeah. Oops. Set that down gently. Um, what else have I finished? Yes. I had to draw a doubt. Right. Hold on, am I doing finished projects or working in progress? Uh, they're a bit of both. Right, this one's working in progress. I haven't finished. And it's a Christmas tree. Now this is my own. It's just the clover... Is that a hair? The clover pom-pom makers, which I borrowed. And the light. Yep, there we go. The light... Hold on a bit light. The Christmas... 
the pom pom makers. I used, I made a pom pom out of one of each. And you know, whenever you put a strand of yarn round a pom pom and you tie it, and then obviously you open up the pom pom maker and there's your pom pom. Well, I kept the long tails. And what I did was, well, I can't even show you, but imagine that's a pom pom. I tied it around the next pom pom on top, so I like set it on top, one pom pom on top of the other. I tied it tight through the middle because if you look closely, you probably can't tell, but from there, that's where the yarn has gone through, and I tied it tight in the middle trimmed it then I put um, no I set this pom pom on top of that and used the strings from that to tie that one onto it then I set that pom pom on top of that and used that strings to tie that on and so forth so yeah the top you can see you probably can't tell but side and then I need scissors to like shape it and well I haven't brought them up with me but what I've done so far is I got a few strands of different coloured wool covered them in glue and covered them then covered them in glitter and I've left them to dry and then I'm gonna drape it across it and that will be the tinsel then I'll show you what I've bought next, but I'm going to use that to put on it. Now, see trying to find a figurine stand. It is impossible. Well, for me anyway. I have tried eBay. I have tried Amazon. And I just cannot find one. What I'm looking for is basically a circle stand that's quite heavy. Because obviously you need it as a paperweight. With one big straight pole, like that, so that I can just right through the middle and just so that it sits up. And I need three, two of them being the height of, excuse me, <clears throat> two of them being the height of my mother's nose, and one for the Christmas tree. But like I said, it is impossible. So, I had to sit and think, what could I do? So, I have came up with the idea of making my own one. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get a double pointed needle. I'm going to buy a separate one because obviously, I can't use the ones that I'm going to use for knitting. So... I'm getting double pointed needles and I'm getting a cork that you would get in a bottle 